Hello everyone, this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a, a simple database with one table and setting some permissions so we can use which application. So let's get started. So first thing you do just you know to go back it's open your SQL Server Management Studio. Um, like I said we we downloaded and installed on the last uh, video. Um, you connect your local host to your server, local, local host SQL Server. This is your local host connection right there. So the first thing to do, let's go ahead and create a, uh, a server, right? uh, a database. So first thing is right click on the database, uh, right click on database and click new database. All you, you're gonna do is uh, create a name for your database, right? I'm gonna do test DB for test database, right? Go ahead and click OK. Once your test database shows up under databases, right? This is what you got. That's all you got. I mean, you can kind of click around. There's no tables. Uh, there's no views. There's no so there's nothing here. So the very first thing we're gonna do it's just to create a simple uh, user table. In order to create our tables, we, have, we expand the table or just right click on the table folder and click new and then new table. All right, this is, like I said, this is the manual process of creating a table. So let's create a table. A basic table will do a name, an ID, and a data type, let's do a var car 50. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, integer. It's an int, right? And it's not going to allow, no, this is going to be a ID, a, a unique identifier. And the column name is gonna be, another column name is gonna be name, and then this is gonna be a var card 50, and let's, lot, let's not allow nouns, okay? If you wanna make this ID here an identifier, what that means is every time you insert a record, like a name, it's gonna auto-create an ID for you. So you, you go all the way down here, full text specification, uh, go ahead and hit yes. Uh, oh no, actually, identify, uh, Identity specification, you go ahead and uh, select identity yes, right here, and identity said yes, so you should be good to go. So for this uh, sample here, this small, easy sample, that's just all we're gonna do to create a table. Let's go ahead and save this table. Let's call this table users, and click OK. All right, so we are good to go. So just to run a quick test, as you can see, it looks like the table isn't here. So what you can do is just right click the database and click refresh and then reopen the table and your table is going to be there with your columns, with everything. You can just right click the table if you want to see what it looks like in there and do a select. So right now we don't have any records. Um, so that's that. What we're going to do is we're going to insert a, few, like a record or two. In order to do that, go ahead and click right click the table and click edit. And let's put name uh, John. Oops, John. All right. As you can see, as soon as I click outside of that column, uh, an ID it's created or a test user. Test user. Oops. And there you go. So for the creation of the table, this is as far as we're going to go in this tutorial. Now. Next, I want to give you a little bit of uh, overview on the permission. So on the server level, on the security, you go to logins, you right click logins, you create a new login. So you can do your Windows authentication if you have other users, but for the specific purposes, we're going to do SQL Server authentication. And let's create a user here, test user, right? And then password, and now the password and the login name the same and I'm going to remove this enforced password policy because you know this is just a simple example and on the, database, on the default database let's go ahead and do the uh, test DB that's what we want right once you click OK your user it's on your server level it's set up for server level now we gotta we gotta add to a uh, now we gotta add to your specific database level so now I'm on a test DB, I go into security, users, new user, and now I add a test user here. You don't you can skip default schema and just click OK. Now this user it's up and running for this DB here. So let's let's run a quick test if this user has access to the database. 
All right, so let's go ahead and close SQL Server Management Studio. Reopen it. Give it a second. All right, we're connecting to localhost, but now instead of using, choosing the Windows authentication, we're gonna choose SQL Server authentication. So log in and password and click OK. All right, so one thing we forgot to do, it's to set the permission, the type of permissions of this user to test DB. So let's go back as myself, connect, go to the database, open the, the database, go to security users right click on this user set properties go to membership and like i said this is just for testing right we're going to give this user full access to the db all right let's go ahead and click ok so i gave the access called db owner all right after you do that you should you should now be able to log in as that user um using the credentials that you set up under the security on the server level, not on the database level. I think this is covers at least the basics of creating a table and creating a table and setting up permissions. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments, just, you know, drop them below.